Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a quiz in Python. So this is relatively simple. This is by no means the shortest you can get the code. But um, if you've been watching from my first video from how to install Python, PyCharm, how to use if statements, how to use variables, print statements, um, all that kind of stuff, you should be able to build this program. Now, this is just a compilation of what you could build from all the previous videos I've made. So. This obviously isn't as neat as possible, but on the first line we've got welcome to the multiple choice test. Pretty self-explanatory, it's a print statement. Here we've got an input of your name saying what is your name. And print hi there plus name, so you're saying hi there plus whatever the name is. Let's say they say John, hi there John, let's play a game. So these pluses is just adding a variable into it. Again you print the instructions, 10 questions give you 3 choices for each question. A, B, or C, keep your caps lock on. So I'll just do that. Now, set score to zero. I've just been using comments just to make it easier. So score is zero, score equals int score. Convert the zero into a number, here that scores can be added. Now, this is supposed to be out of 10, but I only made two questions. So here we've got question one. What is the largest ocean in the world? Indian, Pacific, Atlantic, and then it's just got a blank. Question one answer equals B. Question one response equals input your answer. So you're just gonna have to input whatever your answer is. Here, if question one response doesn't equal question one answer, so if the response doesn't equal B, that means you're gonna have to say, sorry, that's incorrect. And if it does, else print well done, plus the response, which is your answer, which would have to be B, is correct. So there's not really any way this can go wrong. And then score equals score plus one, if you get it correct. Print your current score is str score, the string version, out of 10. And then you just print a new line. So backslash n is for a new line, and then this is just to separate it. Question two, Australia is a continent, island, or very hot place? Um, print whatever. I just put that there just to have four, it looks nicer. You don't need this, you can just remove it if you want to, just like that, but I'm just gonna leave it there. So, question, obviously the answer is A. Well, it's all three, but A is the more pro preferred term. So, input your answer. If question two response doesn't equal question two answer, sorry, that is incorrect. So here again, we've got the else statement, print well done, plus question two response, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna run this program and then we can have a look at how it works and then I'm gonna show you some things to shorten it and add extra things to it. So we're gonna go up, run, run, quiz.py. So what is my name? I use a placeholder, John. So hi there, John, let's play a game. I'll ask you 10 questions and give you three choices for each question. You select which choice is the correct answer, e.g. A, B, or C, capitals. Important, keep your caps lock on. What is the largest ocean in the world? My answer is, I actually forgot this. I think it's the Pacific, let me. Yes, it's correct. <laughs> so it says my current score is one out of 10. Here, yeah, question two, Australia is a continent. So we're gonna click A, and then, well done, A is correct, your current score is two out of 10. And that's where the program breaks because uh, that's where it's ended. We just got to question two. Now, if you wanted to make this a lot shorter, I haven't actually covered functions. In the next video, I'll cover functions and I'll come back to this program and how to make it shorter. Let me just create a new file quickly. You just double click or right click, new Python file, and you say function. Well, this is all an uppercase. Let me just function. So this is the simple, simple way of writing a function. Now, obviously you'd use a formula if you wanna use it to calculate, but here def is what uh, defines a function. Unlike variables, it has to start with def. Um, that's just how a function is. Variable can be named anything. This can be named anything, but it always has to start with a def. Make sure you have your brackets there because that's what you'll need to call your function. And then your colon, and then you print Area of a rectangle is length times height, which it is. So let's run this. I ran it before, but I made a mistake. So run function. Now here you can see area of a rectangle is length times height. Now just to show you it doesn't work, I'm just gonna cut that and then rerun the program. 
Now it doesn't print anything. You have to call the function. So actually, let me do that. Let's say I do it 10 times. And then I run the program. Prints it five times. This is very useful in areas where you have to use duplicate things. So for example, in the quiz, I could have a list of different questions and then I could randomly call them out and then just use a function question and then for score I'd have another function of um, whatever underneath it and just call that function so you could even reduce this by quite a few lines if I wanted to make it more efficient. I'll make another version with a function just to show you how it works for the next video but if you like this video Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and yeah, try this program out for yourself.